Yeah, so I was thinking about our conversation and like the uh, idea of like scripts or like a score. Um, and so what I've been doing is um, just like going through different, like I was thinking about, um, and sorry, in addition to thinking about like a score, um, I was thinking about like movements uh, where they're playing with language, you know, and this idea of like the avant-garde and like we're talking about like the inverse of like the meaning of the word and like the vessel of the word. Yeah. Um, a quit. And I was thinking about, um, yeah, the avant-garde and like art historical movements where they kind of had dealt with that idea um, or this idea of charge and like moving a charge or like, you know, getting rid of a charge. Um, and so I was thinking, cause I was interested in making my own score. I just started doing like the flexus, like reading through flexus scores, um, mm -hmm. and scores like that and like going through them and trying to figure out which ones kind of make sense in terms of like our conversations and this idea of acquitting. So it's like a revisiting the past, um, but also like the avant-garde. And so that's like a moving forward, you know? um and also like a memorial I know we were talking about memorial so it's a little oh, bit yeah. of a bad idea um and so let's see so I've been like collecting a few and I have a, a few as well of like these like different scores so like pick a number from one to ten pick a day of the week pick a color um act on it you know so it's like that there's like other ones um two exercises consider an object call what it what is not the object other so this idea of like erasing a charge I felt like a super present in this and also this idea of the object is something yeah we've all both been interested in but add to the object from the other um another object and remove one like it's basically like basically like uh creating these boundaries of this object yeah take a part from the object and add it to the other to form a new object and a new other repeat until there is no more object um so like thinking a lot about that and um also like free telephone events I this one is a little different but I really like that idea of like these are the outcomes and like you know these are the choices and these are the ways that charges can like happen also I uh started like messing with them a little bit as well um Ken Friedman 1963 fruit sonata play baseball with the fruit so I'm thinking about like this idea of play blank with a blank and like thinking about that in terms of like, um, you know, play like these things that aren't supposed to, these tools or these charges in terms of objects that aren't supposed to happen or exist. Um, and kind of like, thinking about like playing with that, you know, um, yeah. also like a marching band. I really like this. A marching band carries its instruments and sings or hums the music. So I'm just like, kind of took that apart even more and said carry a blank and a blank but like thinking about um like the holder or like the thing or the tool that's supposed to perform and then like denying it that um or denying the tool that and finding this like alternative or like recreating or misplacing or removing a charge and like this idea of creating a new charge you know to get to the same point and so like also with flexus, um, why I was like thinking about flexus scores in particular is this idea of like vibration, you know, with, like objects and like charges and even the term like flex, you know, and that like instability or that kind of fluidity and, you know, this uh, idea of like having all these potential outcomes uh, in a very similar way to like the legal system or like acquitting, you know, like in terms of innocent or guilty um and just thinking about like that kind of like boundary mm -hmm. or that ability to see the outcomes but also be able to play within that you know um in terms yeah. of what is like charged and what's not mm -hmm. um so I want to kind of like and I think it's yeah I kind of want to play with like found image like found uh not found but um ephemera you know or old scores or things like that like we were talking about you had mentioned before like thinking about like magazines and finding that same language in magazines i i want to ask you something regarding the when you say charge mm -hmm. charges charges can you explain a little bit what what do you mean by that yeah A yeah charge. Um, when I say charge, I mean, like, uh, there's this idea that every object has like a charge to it. Um, there's a word, let me see. 
but there's this word that um, it's like a term and I wish I remembered it off the top of my head. I think I accidentally deleted it, but it's this idea that every object has like holds a charge or like a vibe. There's like a, this idea of the vibrating, you know, uh -huh. um, vibration in an object and that being like the like okay. life force in it. Um, and so that's, yeah, like that kind of charge. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. And you concept. think about, yeah. sorry? Sorry, I was just like the concept, you know, or okay. like the, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and you have some thoughts about how, uh, how you want to work with this, with these, um, so you either modify them uh, and then, and then bring them and bring them to life in a way performatively or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we wanted to perform, right? Like we wanted an object to yeah. performance and a, yeah. So I am kind of messing with the text right now, um, but I really like the structure and also like using very much their language, maybe like to the point where it's like very much like a mirroring of it or a direct, you know, relation or whatever. I was thinking something on the, within the lines of, um... Uh, let's say the term acquit and I was draw drawing uh, um, sort of lines around it and I was thinking you no know, maybe we, maybe the term to unroot whether to unroot is also something that is it's it has to do with detachment to to detach from something that uh, is upon you to be or to be de detached by somebody else, the idea of uh, quitting again. So like, or fr from a biased uh, situation. And, you know, and I looked a little bit uh, uh, on the, um, on the idea of um, uh, the, new, the news feeds and the, the briefings and the digests that we get um, that spam our emails, you know, mm -hmm. all this kind of subscriptions. And, uh, I, I I think you know to me it just seems quite productive to kind of look into this sort of uh, unrooting of uh, letting go of the idea of letting go of of all these things that um, come upon you uh, from this point of view of being tracked you know from algorithms that deliver that portray something, you know, uh, that you would want to read that or you would want to, to do that. For example, this is one, one, uh, one uh, new newsletter that I, that I got and I um, unsubscribed recently. And this is like the, uh, just a simple screenshot of it from Quora, right? And uh okay well, yeah. that, you know, it can be it can, yeah it can be interesting to um to, to question or the idea of what does it mean and what's the status of such a, a final act of unrooting from a continuous trail of uh briefs uh and is this is this fragment that I'm showing you right now? Is it like a ruin? Is it what what is its status now? You know, the, I hope I'm not stretching the concept too much, but no. there is something about that that is is quite in, in, intriguing in a way. So now I'm left with this kind of last uh, last appearance of something that I do. I want to return to this. Do I want to? I mean, this is like the last word of um, somebody who wanted to communicate with me, right? More or less. It sounds yeah. also, to me, you know, I strange. Love that. Yeah. yeah. So and, it's like this left behind, kind of. Is that what it's yeah. like? This like debris at this point, and it's like what's yeah, it? Mm -hmm. yeah. It is kind of like that. I you, you call it debris, and I was thinking, yeah, a ruin or like an anthropological object. You know, mm -hmm. this is kind of fascinating. And, and I mean, it's, this particular case, it has this kind of weird uh, statement, is, is rev revying a car engine bad for the car? It is something that you were also talking about a lot about the ontology of objects and how an object is also kind of, right? Uh, has agency in, in some sort of way and communicates and has a sort of, um, um yeah yeah even even to, yeah today you 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 said about that a charge right mm -hmm. that's the term and so okay but uh there is also 
yeah, this was the last, um, just before I unsus unsubscribed. And just bear with me just uh, uh, a few moments because um, I searched a little bit on the CNN um, um, policy uh, regarding um, un unsubscribing. And they call the inf they call information offerings, and this is kind of also some interesting. Um, in CNN, look here. It says the individual is you, of course, and the individual interacts with our offerings, which is called information. Basically, information is their offering, and of course, CNN in this context is the controller. <laughs> so it's quite quite strange. Um, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, this is just just a, a, sh a, sh a snapshot of something that we might think about. And it is unrooted or it is kind of just um, that it belongs to no one in a way, but, uh, af but it belongs uh, after uh, at the end of the day, it belongs to somebody. So it comes from CNN or a new uh, or, or um, TLS or whatever news new newspaper so um, yeah um and and then i thought about you know uh the error 404 that you get sometimes in the online which is i, I think it's the most famous error you can get and i made a i made it like a poem out of them out of the text that you get when you arrive to the error so you say People say, sorry, the page you are looking for, it seems to be missing. Oh shit, I think you broke something, you idiot. <laughs> yes. Are you lost? It seems so, don't worry, whatever. Oh my gosh, you found it, fail. All this sort of things. Uh, I guess I was moving in this direction of um, some sort of finding uh, an artifact out of uh, a form of artifact out of digital media. Mm -hmm. So that's why I refer to the 404 error or, or this kind of um, unsubscribed um, last forms of, uns of, of the unrooting process that can. Yeah. And so I, I yeah, uh, the culture of unsubscribing I wrote here, you know, to the yeah. last instance the last instance of of a communication which is a relic in this case it is what would you do with that you know um i love that Sorry. it is like a burial site you know in a way it it, it becomes like a tombstone you know uh, that unsubscribed uh, snapshot you know, that you get the last thing. It is almost like a memorial, if you think of it. I mean, so what, what would I do with that? I mean, of course, um, uh, and, and because we talked so much about the idea of, of the, um, the subtle currency, mm -hmm. that is the current, we talked a lot about last, last time about currency, and I think it's, it's really interesting to move in, in also in that direction. Maybe we can move in that direction considering your, your ideas with the scores. Yeah, I'm thinking like, I think it's interesting in both of our um, like research for this and like language and what we're both doing is we're kind of taking this, yeah, like you said, this relic or this like form. And I find it really interesting that you went digital and I went super like art historical. <laughs> um, but I think it's like, you know, but I like that in both of those, we are getting across, we're like kind of abstracting the information from this like vessel in that way. And like referring yeah. to like a, yeah, to the, to the relic, to the, um, you know, this idea, this concept, um, you know, we're able to get to this concept through another concept that might be out of date or might be overlooked. If we are using the scores that Fluxus made, uh, I mean, this is a lot, there's a lot of, there are a lot of questions regarding them in, in, in a sense that um, maybe they, some of them were, were written, but not performed. I'm, and, and I'm not sure, uh, you know, there's also something to think about. If you want to perform something that somebody else performed, okay, in the sixties, which is, is absolutely no problem, but it's just it's important to take that on board. Um, 
I, I, I would take the frame, the frame of this. So the, the short, uh, uh, sna snappy writing, very direct pointing uh, to one direction or to, to um, quite, you know, a punchy uh, movement. Uh, I would take that kind of structure and think about what I can do with that sort of maybe manipulate it in a way or. Yeah, I think, yeah. And I like definitely the idea that these texts are also pieces like, um, or text exist on their own in the same way, like the 404 error does, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, and I like that. Yeah. It stands for an action, but like, it also is like an, an, an action. You know, does that make sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, you know, we, I mean, also if, if we approach, I mean, I mean, it can be approached as, uh, I think every score from the, from the flux, fluxes or uh, it can be approached with one sort of, or um, um, sentiment, or it, it can, we can approach it uh, by retracting ourselves, by detaching ourselves, I mean, by, in a, in a way, negating what is written there or opposing tension, putting tension in it. And, you know, because we, we, we started with the term to acquit, the idea to acquit, to detach um, and to, so in, in a way to impose or to work with, with the, the score, but having another layer to layer it with something that we, uh, want to put on top of it as a structure, as a superstructure. 